Hello, and welcome to part five, I believe, of um, how to build a working TARDIS in Minecraft. Um, so, we're just going to be finishing up the wiring today. Uh, shouldn't take too long. I'm just going to put this here. Oops. Kind of interesting how the lighting seems to get a little better, like brighter when we do that. Uh, my second monitor just kind of died there for a second. I think I bumped the connections since I'm doing all of this on a freaking laptop. I mean, my frame rate's kind of slow, but I think it runs decently well. I mean, I don't have a gaming computer, but it seems to just try its best, I guess, and work at it. I don't know, might sound a little corny, but I like it. I think it works. I mean, it'd be preferable to have a nice big desktop that's designed to handle a lot of stress. That way I could make my videos a little better. But hey, maybe in the future when I'm popular enough on YouTube, if I get popular enough, I'll, um, I might put some ads on my video or something to help raise money to get a better desktop. I don't know. I can dream. <laughs> and then I believe this goes something. I think it goes like that. I'm actually not entirely sure. Now let me check. With my handy dandy pictures. Seriously, without these pictures here, I would be so screwed. And I would have ended up having to give up making the TARDIS. Because the wiring would just be too frustrating. I mean, building it once was hard enough. I mean, then trying to build it twice. I don't know. This is actually my second attempt at trying to make a walkthrough on how to build a TARDIS. The first one, I just kind of said, screw it. This is too hard. I can't remember all the details by in my head. I mean, I can remember the basic idea of how it works, but I just couldn't get it all. And that's okay, because here I am now with an actual video. Um, what I'm doing here is that, um, later I won't have to get night vision potions just to come down and reprogram the TARDIS, and, um, it just helps the lighting all together and the TARDIS. I think I actually might keep it like this. Just that people can walk around there. Now making it look a little nicer is stuff that we do up here. Down there you can kind of make as nice as you want if you want to, but just testing. I 
<laughs> that one's got a little bit of a delay. I might, might need to have to figure something out to change that. Or fix that. But, that's for another time. I guess. Maybe later. Um, it, I think it's because I put way too many repeaters there than I needed to. I actually don't think I need to put it either of those. And I'll fix it later. Where is what I needed? Oh no, it would be in redstone. Trap doors being in redstone and just doors and stuff half makes sense, half doesn't to me. I mean, they're redstone powered, but I do nothing with redstone hatches. I mean, I use hatches as hatches. They're doors. <laughs> Just on their side. I don't know, that's just me. What I'm doing here is that, um, I mean, the TARDIS has more rooms than just those few that they show there. Uh, I mean, just this one here, the control room. So, I have the staircase here, basically. I'm just gonna cover it up a little bit. Did I do the stairs exactly? Let's just see if I have a picture. Ah, that's how I did it. I mean, you can mess with this to make it look however you want. I just, I don't like it like this. Let's just to see how well it will make it look all nice and pretty. <laughs> Oops. I made this a little too small. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, I kind of screwed up. You can fix the dimensions for the stairs here. Basically, um, what you do is that you put some doors in the hallway here. And then you can start expanding the TARDIS. Add other rooms. So, let's see. I need to, um, 
make the walls look all nice. So what I do is I put redstone lamps here like I've been doing, obviously. This really is, I'm starting to get a little sloppy just because this TARDIS is just an example. Oh, um, I also need to do, um, currently the TARDIS can only travel through, um, space, but that's not really what makes the TARDIS so awesome. What makes it so awesome is that it also travels through time. So, I need to, um, add the time feature. Basically, you put it on the sides here. You can put it on both sides or just one side if you want. I'm only going to do it on one side just for the sake of um, being efficient in this video. So you put it in a shape like this, and then in the top one, type in slash time set one nine eight zero zero zero. And this one, you put one, nope, back, slash, time, set, one, six, eight, zero, zero, zero. And slash, time, set, two, five, Eight zero zero zero, and finally, such time sets two two eight zero zero zero, and now um, you find some quartz, well, I use chiseled quartz, you can use whatever you want here, but I just kind of like chiseled quartz, I think it looks nice, and then to make it look really nice, you know, where is it, item frame, And then I think it's in tools. Yep. You get a clock. Whee! <laughs> and you get a button. I use wooden buttons just because they look nice. And now we test it. So you see the clock move. And it just follows the sun. Like wherever the button you push the button, that's where the sun's gonna go. So there, that looks all nice. Now let's just get this back wall here. Oh, my night vision wore off. Well, that just shows that. Did this well. Uh oh, the timer's done. Okay. Well, um, next time we'll um learn how to program the TARDIS and finish spiffing it up if not this will be a seven part episode um i think in the beginning of the next episode i'll just go over programming just because that's the actual important part okay well i will see you guys later bye